Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to enlighten you before you spend your hard-earned money. For the past six months, I've been doing something that I like to call market research and I've purchased different magnetic eyeliners, two glue eyeliners, and I'm here to expose some of those brands. So if you're like me and spend a lot of your time on YouTube or any other social media, then you've probably run into a magnetic eyeliner ad promoting the new revolutionary way of applying your lashes. The old way of applying lashes is not cutting it anymore and these companies claim that their eyeliners and lashes are the new wave. I decided to give it a try. First brand that I tried was Glamnetic and even though the price point is a little bit on the higher end, I decided to try that brand versus Kiss because I felt like Kiss came after. I'm not quite sure of the timeline, but I got introduced to the magnetic liner through Glamnetic. And I went ahead and ordered myself a starter pack that came with two sets of eyelashes and one eyeliner. I did repurchase another magnetic eyeliner and not necessarily because I ran out of the product, but because it dried out. So I'm going to tell you all my thoughts on Glamnetic. This is the Glamnetic eyeliner. And like I mentioned, I did repurchase this product. The first time I purchased the product, the logo came off, but this time around, it seems like they upped their production and now the information doesn't scrape off. They got a better printer, so that's nice. The first eyeliner that I ordered, all the information came off like within a week. Unfortunately, I checked the website and I checked the packaging on this. I can't find how much is in here, but this eyeliner, on its own, if you don't get it as a set, retails for $37. $37 for an eyeliner seems kind of excessive for me. I do have my other regular eyeliners, like the House of Gaga eyeliner, and I think this one's like $20. Sometimes it goes on sale for $15. And then I also have the Kat Von D one, and it's like $15 to $20. So paying double the price for an eyeliner it just seems like a lot to me. And I know it's not a regular eyeliner, it's a magnet eyeliner. And I say magnet with quotation marks. They're false advertising their eyeliner as magnetic, which I have a theory. And the only reason why I'm claiming this is because I've used their products for eight months. I've used other magnetic eyeliners that I'm gonna touch more on later. The reason why I had to repurchase this eyeliner was because my first one, became clumps. I couldn't even use it anymore because it was so clumpy. And what I started to realize is that this eyeliner is kind of like a glue eyeliner. It's not really magnetic. Have I done the magnetic test? No, but I can tell you that I know it has glue. So the tip looks like this, like that. And I can also tell that there isn't that much product in here. This is kind of brand new. When I ordered it, I didn't use it anymore. I found another eyeliner for a quarter of the price that I use, but I realized that this liner does not have a lot of product. Like I can't hear what's in there. Kind of disappointing because I paid premium for this. Now that I have my magnetic liner here, I want to show you how it's tacky. I want to show you how tacky this is. See that? And the way the eyeliner dries out too, it's kind of like eyelash glue. Tacky. Why is it tacky? It should be tacky if it's magnetic. Regular eyeliner is not tacky. If you use a regular liner, this one's the House of Gaga liner. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Let it dry for a few seconds, just like I did with the other one using another finger you see there's no tackiness so i don't know call me crazy but i definitely believe that the magnetic liner is not magnetic it's a glue liner so would i recommend you purchasing the glamnetic magnetic liner no the reason why is because i went on to amazon and i found a similar product and this product is called Magnetic Eyeliner, <laughs> straight to the point. 
and I believe the brand is Arishine, 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 Arishine. I don't know, but it looks like this, and I'll go ahead and link it down below so you can check it out for yourself. This eyeliner is ten dollars on Amazon. This one thirty-seven, and only because it's bigger doesn't mean that it has more product. Because I really think that this is kind of empty. Look at that. I just took it out right now. Look how chunky that is. Because it dries out. You guys are seeing this live. How can I apply? How can I, I apply my eyeliner with this brush? It's all clumping up. Because I believe that this is glue. Anyone who does their eyeliner knows that this is not okay. You can't do your eyeliner like this. And that's why I had to repurchase another eyeliner from Glamnetic because the first one did the same thing where it just became so clumpy to the point that I couldn't apply it anymore. And I still wanted to use my magnetic lashes that I got with the liner so I went ahead and ordered another one. But I messed up and I ordered another one from Glamnetic instead of checking Amazon. And this product is the same as the Glamnetic. It claims that it's magnetic liner, but I believe that it, it has some type of glue. It does clump as well. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna show you. It does clump up, as you can see. And then the tip looks exactly like the Glamnetic tip. And you can see some clumps on the wand here. I'm applying. So it is a little bit wet, but I'm, I think I applied way too much product, but I'm gonna do the, the test. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, it's sticking a little. Can you see that? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that on camera. These companies here are claiming that they have this crazy new product that's magnetic, but in reality, I feel like they're just selling glorified glue liner. The only thing that I'm not mad about with this one is that it's only $10, so I don't mind spending $10 and getting like a mediocre kind of product. Like it works, it holds my lashes. You know, I get watery eyes here and there, and it holds my lashes all day. I usually carry the liner with me so I can reapply in case they start lifting. I never have to reapply so they work. But like I said, this is only $10 so I don't mind spending $10 versus $37 for a product that's not even that great. So besides those two liners, I did went ahead and I tried the KISS Magnetic Liner. This one sucks. This one does not clump whatsoever. Tip is the same as the other and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Let it dry for a little bit. So I feel like maybe Kiss is the only one that's promoting the right thing and it might be magnetic, but the lashes don't stay. I've tried it multiple times and they just don't stay. I don't know why. I don't know if I got a bad liner, but I bought the magnetic lashes and liner for a friend and her lashes stay. Here, we're gonna try it with a different finger. So it doesn't, it's not as tacky as the other ones. Yeah, it's not tacky whatsoever. And it dried pretty mad. I feel like the lashes don't stay and I tried both the Glamnetic Lash with this and it didn't work. I tried the actual Kiss brand and it didn't stay. So I don't know if I got a bad batch, like I said. Or what's going on, but this is going in the trash. Another eyeliner that I decided to try was this Land Flower New Magic Eyeliner. This one claims to be like a glue liner, so instead of using this or magnetic liner, um, you can use this felt tip glue liner, and the tip makes it easier to apply. I think it was only eight dollars, so you know it wasn't overpriced or anything. But this product does not hold my lashes. I have to reapply. A lot throughout the day so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you're willing to keep reapplying throughout the day and with this eyeliner you don't have to use magnetic lashes you can use regular strip lashes and you just apply um, like a regular liner put the strip lash and it's supposed to stay but for me it didn't stay all day and I also noticed that after a few uses it's kind of hard to apply the eyeliner and it kind of like drags 
Like it's not that great of a quality liner as you can see here. I mean the tip makes it nice to apply but it's kind of hard after a while the tip kind of dries out and I'm guessing because it does have glue so it, the tip gets kind of rough at times. I wouldn't recommend it. At least they're not claiming to be something they're not. They said it's a glue eyeliner. Now that we talked about the eyeliner and how I think Glamnetic is promoting something they're not, I'm not here to bash on that brand. I actually do love their lashes. The thing that I love about them is that they have a variety of lashes for different eye shapes. They even have colorful lashes. They have a lash for everyone. If you don't get their liner because it sucks, you can go ahead and grab yourself the $10 one and you can still enjoy their beautiful lashes. I recommend the Love Lash and that one looks like this. That one's my favorite. I also love their synthetic kind, which is the Boss Babe one. That one's really bomb. And my ultimate favorite is the Lust Lash. And this one looks like this, and it's just like super full. And it just looks super beautiful with my eye shape because I do have super hooded eyes, and this one works well with me. I do have two other ones that didn't work out for me, and that one is the Lavish Lash. And this one is more of a straight like the the lashes sit straight on my eyes and i don't like that i like more of a curl and i also have this one which is the lush lash and this one is super dramatic i didn't think it was going to be this long and i just don't feel comfortable wearing that when i ordered these lashes and they weren't a match for me i went ahead and reached out to customer service they were super helpful and generous they went ahead and asked me what lash i would prefer for my eye style i ended up getting the lust lash um and they also sent me the love lash without wanting me to return these so they were super helpful no questions asked so customer service um, was really nice. The only thing was that they did take a long time to reply. They were super busy and with COVID and everything, it did take them a while to reply. So I kind of did, um, you know, reach out uh, a few times before they were able to help me out. For the Kiss brand lashes, these are super inexpensive, but they only have three styles and Glamnetic has multiple styles. They do retail for $30, but I feel like they're worth it. The quality is really nice and you can use them um, more than once, obviously. Oh, another thing that they claim here at Glamnetic is that since your eyeliner is magnetic, that your lashes last like five times longer than the regular lashes using regular glue. I don't necessarily agree with them because this liner is kind of like a glueish liner and it gets clumpy and whatnot so that means that when you put on the liner and then you place your eyelash that clumpiness that tackiness and like gunkiness that i showed you guys stays on the lash so i know they said that in order to clean your lashes you're supposed to scratch off the liner but it's not that easy it you don't scratch it off you have to actually kind of peel it off because like i said it's some type of glue. Overall thoughts on the magnetic liners, not only Glamnetic, but other brands that claim to be magnetic. I believe that they are promoting a product that is not magnetic, but instead I believe it's an eyeliner glue. Do I recommend Glamnetic or any of these eyeliners? I do. I personally enjoy this method instead of the glue method, which like I said, it's one one, one method. <laughs> what I like to do is I like to apply my favorite eyeliner. This one is the House of Gaga eyeliner with a beautiful felt tip and I just apply it and I make sure that my, you know, my wing is on point and then I go in with whatever magnetic liner I'm using that day and I apply the line right on top. And the reason why I do that is because I've tried creating the wing liner with these eyeliners and it's really hard because of the tip and because of the product, how it dries. So it's kind of hard to create the perfect wing. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I have a mirror over here, so don't mind me.
And I kind of want to use the Glamnetic one on camera, but you guys saw that the tip, like, I literally haven't even used this one. And then I discovered the Amazon one, so I decided to just use the Amazon one. Because I spent so much that I was like, let me make this one last. But I feel like I... <sighs> Look how clumpy it is. Like, it's not good at all. This is crazy. I don't even know if this is going on because it's so clumpy. This is going into the trash can. $37 wasted. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite lash, which is the Lush Lash. Oh no, that's not in. <laughs> it's the Lust. I get confused. <laughs> This one's my favorite. So I went ahead and I applied the lashes. And I don't know if you can see, sometimes the lashes make the eyeliner look kind of funny. But what I like to do is I like to go in with my favorite um, fine tip liner. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the eyeliner. Because when I close my eyes, I feel like it looks kind of funny. So I'm going to go ahead and make my liner a little bit more sharp. And I'll be right back. Alright, I went ahead and I made my eyeliner a little bit more sharp and I went ahead and I blended the strip so it doesn't look too crazy. But overall, I recommend you save $20 and get yourself the Amazon Magnetic Liner. And I do recommend for you to try the Glamnetic Lashes because they have so many styles. My favorite lash for the inexpensive brand, you can find it at your local drugstore, is Crowd Pleaser. And it's the more dramatic lash of them all. Because they only have like three. Have you guys tried Glamnetic before? What was your experience? Did you have a better experience? Then what I did with the eyeliner, I know they recently put out a felt tip magnetic liner, but I have a feeling that it's going to be the same thing as this guy, um, which is a glue eyeliner with a felt tip. And you can honestly get this for $10 on Amazon instead of overpaying. Let me know what you guys think about the magnetic liners. There's many companies out there claiming the same thing. This is not a video to bash any particular brand, but just the concept in general. I just feel like it's not magnetic. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys. In love.